Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, something that I've been talking about a lot lately, which is, I guess, maybe a little bit surprising, something really basic, but really important, is miter tracks. Uh, mostly about bandsaws, but we're going to talk about pretty much every machine. Um, what to look for in a miter track, I guess, when you're buying it. So, the reason I've been talking about it so much is because of this simple circle cutter. It goes right in the miter track, and there are different miter track sizes out there. So this 10-326, uh, it has a 3 quarter inch wide by 3 8 miter track, which is the standard. That's the vast majority of machines will have that size. Now if we're looking at the Raycon smaller bandsaw, this is a 10-306, it has a little bit of a smaller miter track. It's 5 8 of an inch wide and it's a quarter inch deep. So a little bit smaller there. Now this is probably the second most common size. A lot of the older craftsmen and stuff will have a similar um, size miter track to that. Now, if you don't have one of those size miter tracks, if you're looking at a piece of machinery and it doesn't have that size, um, it's fairly important to have a standard size miter track for jigs and different attachments to fit into. Um, the other thing to look for when it comes to miter tracks is the spacing between the track and the blade. Let's go for a little walk here and we will check out some different machines here. So this is a little 14 inch bandsaw, a Rockford, essentially a Delta clone. Um, I don't have a blade in there right now, but from the blade to the miter track, we're about three inch, three and a quarter inches. This is our Delta Unisaw, so we got about five and a half inches. Okay, a Laguna 14 SUV, we are three and a half inches. Okay, the Raycon 10 inch bandsaw is four and a quarter. Now, if we go over to the 10-326, the big 14 inch model here, we are six and a quarter inches. The reason I show you that, um, that's an important measurement here actually. It's almost in every circumstance, the further that miter track is away from the blade, the more flexible all the jigs that you put in there, whether it be a miter gauge or the simple circle cutter. So the simple circle cutter, for example, um, the more space I have between um, the miter gauge or the miter track and the blade, actually the bigger the circle is that I can cut. Um, so this, uh, on the simple circle cutter in this bandsaw, I can cut about a 22 inch diameter circle. Now if we put the same simple circle cutter in this bandsaw here, if I max it out, I'm going to be cutting about a 25 inch diameter circle. So that extra space makes the whole bandsaw that much more flexible. So you saw on some of those machines, you really don't have a lot of space. So you're a little bit more limited by what you can do. So when you're shopping for a machine, um, that is something that is worth taking into consideration. This 10 inch Rikon bandsaw, it actually has for its size, quite a bit of space, even compared to that Laguna there. Um, now the last thing I want to talk about with miter gauges is this here. So if you look at the bottom of this miter track, it's got a T slot in it. Now that's designed to put feather boards or feather wheels in it. Now if this smaller Rikon here, if you look at it, the smaller Rikon over here does not have a T slot in it. Um, so that means it's a little bit more limited by what you can put in there. Um, so just also another thing to consider, if possible, get something with a T-slot. Again, it just makes it a little bit more versatile. So I know uh, miter tracks is kind of a, I don't know what the word is, it's something that we don't really talk about very often, but it is a very important part of really any machine, whether it's a bandsaw, a sander, or a table saw. But if you are shopping for a machine, worth taking a second look where the miter track is positioned and the size of the miter track. Make sure you get a standard size if you can, whether that's three quarter by three eighths deep or five eighths by a quarter inch deep. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, please subscribe.